quarter of the season's in the books. It's time to overreact to week four. So many absurd endings to these one o'clock games. Let's start with the almost ties. I was just keeping my fingers crossed. The Colts would rather lose than tie, and same could be said for the Titans. The only difference is one team could actually execute. The other one was held out to dry. Give credit to the Titans though, are they actually good? In back-to-back -back weeks, the Titans have beaten the Jags and now the defending champs. Give credit though to first-time head coach Mike Vrabel. Is he like the Sean McVay, but for defense? Three and one is a good start. Gotta give a little love to the Bengals though too. Andy Dalton had himself a day. And in the battle between AJ Green and Julio Jones, last second touchdown gets the last second laugh for AJ Green. And OMG, the Cowboys finally found themselves in offense. Zeke ran, hurdled, and even caught a deep ball. Is he maybe the best receiver on the Cowboys? And at three sacks, I think it's safe to say that Tank Lawrence deserves every penny of that upcoming contract. Pay the man, Jerry, now. And for at least one week, Dak finally quiets the critics. And Dan Bailey, cutting him, works out just fine. But you know who's not fine? The Buccaneers. The Fitz magic has officially fizzled out, and after getting blown out in the first half by the Bears, they made the quick switch to Jameis. And on the other side, thank you for finally living up to your potential, Mitchell Trubisky. With all of those weapons and a nasty D, anything is possible in Chi-Town. And at 3-0, we were wondering if the Ryan Tannehill-led Dolphins would go into Foxborough and make a statement. <laughs> no, they didn't. Pat's got the win safe to say they're A-OK. -okay. Switching to the later games, the Saints finally got their groove back. Alvin Kamara went off, the defense started to gel, and they get Ingram back next week. Rams, Saints, November 4th. Mark your calendars. New QB, same Browns heartbreak. They were this close to getting the win. God, I feel like I've said that before, right? But Baker Mayfield has this Browns team looking exciting. And the last time that they've scored over 40, was back in 2009 against Todd Haley. Go figure. And to Oakland, congrats, I guess. Speaking of ugly and messy, the Seahawks squeaked out a win against the Cardinals. But along the way, lost Earl Thomas. He got carted off in an air cast. Safe to say, most definitely played his last game in a Seahawks uniform. Legion of Boom out the window with the stroke of a middle finger, literally. And after four weeks, look who's three and one. Bengals, Dolphins, Titans, and Bears. Just like we all thought, right? And there are a few teams we didn't expect to go one and three. Giants, Falcons, Texans. You still have hope for the playoffs, but it's very slight. Teams that start one and three have a 17% chance of making the playoffs. And after a quarter of the season, we have just one winless team left. The Arizona Cardinals and two undefeated teams. And for the rest of the league, we still don't know how your season's gonna shake out. But in the meantime, stick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.